this is a very special box not containing a plastic horse like the rest of my channel but containing a very special piece of equipment. Film has been a really important part of my growing up and my career. I actually chose a career in film prior to doing this whole model thing. My goal in life was to be a film person, make movies. This camera has been with me for six years. I bought this when I was in, I believe, 11th grade. It was an upgrade from a Nikon D5100 and I upgraded to this guy because it was like, at the time, state of the art, top of the line, autofocusing video type of a camera. So this is the Canon 70D. This camera has been like my child. I remember it so vividly because it was the most amount of money I had spent on any one given thing at that time in my life. Like it was a lot of money for me to fess up and I was so nervous about it but it turned out like to be the best piece of equipment I ever bought. This camera has filmed every video that you've seen on this YouTube channel. This camera filmed tons more YouTube videos prior to me having this YouTube channel. This took pictures at countless events, countless memories and life moments, studio photography. It's done it all. Like this thing has been with me for so long. And unfortunately recently it's been crapping out and I don't know what the issue is but I'm assuming that it's something to do with the actual like system within the camera. Because cameras are digital now, they're computer based, the system glitches out so it no longer works filming video, it no longer does photos seamlessly, it has a lot of glitchy moments now. It got to the point where it was too unpredictable and I couldn't just keep using it and have it stop recording because I tried to film a couple tutorials in the recent few months. It's like stopped recording, it'll just decide when it wants to record and then quit. And as exciting as it is to get a new camera, I just, I feel so attached to this one because it's just been so good and so solid. And I hate buying new things when like old things are just so good and they work so well for so long and then they stop working and you have to get the new one and you're just not sure. <laughs> Today we are unboxing the new guy that I had to order. And this was like a whole process in itself. Oh man. So I ordered this from Best Buy and normally Best Buy is great. I've usually had really good experiences with Best Buy. Well, Best Buy decided to be a pain in the bottom. Basically, I don't know what happened, but my credit card didn't go through the first time. So I got an email saying your order can't be complete. And like, this is like me struggling with this camera, trying to film tutorials and YouTube videos and crap, and then having it like glitch out and then having Best Buy telling me that my credit card isn't working. So I called them and I was like, what's going on? And so originally, yes, I put the billing address incorrectly in. So we changed that and it still came back, couldn't be processed, so I had to call them again. And then they were like, oh, it's probably your Visa card. So then I had to call Visa and Visa was like, your card is fine. And so then I waited a few more days and then it said, just, we canceled the order completely. So then I had to call back and say, I need to replace this order, but I had sale prices on that specific day like that I was watching. So now you have to give me that old price. <laughs> so, Long story short, we figured it out, the payment went through, it processed and this shipped in like two days. So. I guess I can't really complain because it's here now. Cameras hurt. They are very expensive. I mean, they last six years, but still, it's hard to justify that, especially because I just bought a real horse. I was not expecting to buy a camera within the same month. But here we are, nonetheless. So let us open it and see what it is like. Is it as exciting as a model horse unboxing? I'm not sure. <laughs> came with a lot of air pockets. We just shoved it right in there. Here we go, guys. There it is. Canon 90D. <laughs> uh, basically, this is like the newest version that they have of this camera. I got it back when it came out. And so it was like top of the line, brand new. And this guy is like the most current technology. So it comes with way more megapixels, way more video options, um, different controls, and just like a better overall processor. So it's going to be like a higher quality camera for sure. My like old one is definitely outdated at this point. The megapixels actually are really bad on that camera, so this one has a lot higher megapixels. I personally am a Canon fan. I had a Nikon for a while. 
Nikon I think is better for photography and stuff, but I find just Canon in general has a better color range and their photos pop more. They have a really crisp color to them. I've just always really liked Canon versus Nikon. That's my personal preference. I looked into getting like a full frame or something fancier because I just needed the body. I didn't necessarily, I didn't need the kit because I have all the lenses and everything. But I just decided that this was going to be the best because I don't really need anything more advanced. Just having more megapixels, having a slow-mo camera option would be good. But pretty much what the old one was is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want it to break. I also got a promo where it came with an extra free battery. So I'm not sure if it comes with a battery. I think it does. So I think I got two batteries out of the deal, which is sweet. I think part of the problem was this old camera. I was using off-brand lithium batteries in it, and I was sold these by a camera person who said they would be fine, and I trusted them, and I don't believe that they are fine. I think that you should be using Canon grade products in your Canon product just because you never know. <laughs> and the Canon battery, like I found it was less glitchy when it had the Canon battery in it versus when it had the other one. So who knows, maybe I wrecked it by using that lithium battery. I'm getting rid of it, needless to say. I now have this one, I have a new one, and I have the old one um, because I can't really sell the camera, it doesn't really work. And then my boyfriend also ordered a second battery for his camera, which I'm currently filming with, so thanks. <laughs> And because I was ordering everything at once, I thought, why not upgrade my 50mm lens at the same time? Woo! I am broke. <laughs> so basically, same thing. I bought this 50mm uh, lens when I bought the camera because it was like 120 bucks. Um, same kind of thing. Technology has increased, advanced. Autofocusing has gotten a lot better since then. This was six years ago. This is quite some time has passed. We're now in a different realm, so... <laughs> This um, new version of the lens is a lot more advanced and just a quiet autofocus so I can actually use it to film things. This guy I never could because it's so noisy. <laughs> it takes lovely pictures, it does everything perfectly, I love it. I just wanted to replace it, but then otherwise like I have the kit lens works fine, um, I have a micro lens and I have a zoom lens. So I'm like, I'm set in the lens department. So. Here we are. Comes with the battery pack. Comes with the battery. Comes with the strap, but I hate these straps. I got this strap for my birthday years ago. It was like off Etsy, so someone made it. Um, and it's amazing because it feels like a scarf, like it doesn't scratch on your neck. So I definitely will be continuing to use that because these things suck. And then here's the child. Here it is. So my first like impression, my brother actually has this exact camera. He got it for Christmas this year. It's a little bit different. There's a few things that are a little bit different on it for sure. It doesn't feel as solid. Like I really liked the 70D. It was really thick. It had weight to it. And I really like that feel. These guys feel kind of light. But when you do get a lens on it and you get some stuff going on and it definitely like wears to your hand. Like I've noticed that... <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of wear like on this camera where I hold it and I get like clay and crap all over it, so we'll see. It's pretty much the same like layout and function as the last one. There's just a few different modes. Little thing has like a slot there versus a slot on the side. Um, still a touch screen, still a swivel screen. I mean so let's set it up. Let's see if we can put a battery in it. <laughs> Check it out. So I don't really know like how the generation of the lenses really works, but cute. It's so much smaller. It's like half the size. So this is the old guy and this is the new guy. This one always felt cheap to me. Like it rattles a little bit too. It's just not great. This one's like more compact. No card in camera. Oh, weird. It's so quiet, the lens, it's crazy. Oh, and it takes lovely photos. It's good. It's like pretty much the exact same as like what I've had. So like, I know it's gonna be good. I'm just a little bummed that it broke, but I am excited to start my journey with this new guy. Maybe I can like advance more with video creation. Um, and having those extra megapixels is going to help with the photography aspect as well. I, I love my cameras. My cameras are really close to my heart. They make me proud and I love having them and using them. So 
it is exciting, it's just kind of like the end of an era, so I'm just sad to see it break, like I didn't expect it to break so soon. Um, but that being said, this will be lovely, I am sure, and uh, now I can continue with my tutorial creations and all of that. So now all of the videos will be filmed on this camera. I'll probably do some kind of a review perhaps on how it works, like what it works. I want to do a little bit of a photography and videography rundown as well. Just I was hoping that like I could upgrade and like my old one would still work so that I could have two and I could do crazy setups, but it doesn't really look like that's going to be the case. I don't know if it's going to work. Pretty cool. So this has been DJB. Uh, thank you so much for watching and happy filmmaking and photographing.